Gaffey probably scratching your head after that and wondering how we've managed to lose the game, I guess. Yeah, um, I'm sorry for the lads, if I'm honest, because um, we didn't deserve to lose that game. I think anybody who was here or, or watched it uh, at home would have seen the clearly we were the one side that was trying to uh, win the game in terms of our football and what we were trying to produce. Um, a total dominance of the game, really. Um, the home side, obviously, we were looking just to play on the break. Never really caused us too much concern. They had a real goal the last five minutes of of the game, and they've got a little bit of reward. Obviously, they got got the winner in that time. But uh, there's any number of other chances that we had. Good chances, clear good chances, chances created by good football, and we haven't taken them. That's that's the one criticism. But. Uh, um, I'll park my thoughts about the officials for maybe another day, but uh, we're all judged on performance, and his performance wasn't at the level he needed to be tonight, so for whatever reason. Um, so we feel a little bit aggrieved because um, his performance level wasn't where it needed to be. But in terms of what we were trying to do on, on what we produced on the night, I thought, I thought we did OK. But if we'd have taken a point out of the game, we would have still been disappointed because we felt our dominance in the game deserved more. When you take that into consideration and obviously look at the fact we conceded in the 98th minute, several decisions seem to go against us, as you mentioned, and then even still have time to hit the woodwork twice after they, we conceded until the end of the game. Mm. You start to look at it and yeah, think, it's essentially, just, it's not our day, really. It seems, it seems that uh, that's the case tonight. Um, yeah, I mean, we created some good opportunities. We've had situations where the referee should have made big decisions, uh, unfortunately he wasn't prepared to do them, um, a clear penalty in my view, uh, Lee Angle bearing down on goal, getting ready to shoot, gets his ankles clipped, uh, asked the referee, he said um, he thought he dived and he was going to book him but thought better of it, so that's why he put the whistle to his lips, so fair play to him, he's thought that one very, very quickly. And when you look at the two previous away games where we have you know, in parts play very well, particularly tonight, and got to the point where we've been so close to taking a point from both and then losing it in the last minute. I guess it makes it more difficult for you, particularly contextualising with the performance today as well. Yeah, but, but uh, um, it's not going to affect our confidence. I, I think we've played well enough tonight to, to win this game, and we know that. So uh, come the weekend, we'll, we'll go again and, um, and we'll play well again. Uh, I don't think form's an issue. I think uh, maybe circumstances and games is going a little bit against us, uh, we're not quite uh, taking the chances when we need to, so that will always allow the home side, as for ourselves as the away side, it's impossible to to give up um, a whole 90, 90 minutes, 98 minutes, uh, you can't uh, go through that period without giving some chances up to the the home side and uh, we restricted them to very few efforts, a few speculative long shots and then at the end, they have the, the chance to put the ball into the box and um, it's gone to the, the one man they were aiming for and, and they score. So, very harsh on, on the guys tonight, but um, we'll pick ourselves up. It uh, wasn't a bad performance tonight, um, bad result, bad circumstances, but uh, more than happy with what we were trying to do. Keen Harrop back from suspension showed some real bright patches when he came on and adding to those attacking options that we've got up there, I guess the lads who come off the bench. Yeah, and Keane's one of those players that disrupts teams and he came on to good effect. I thought Lee Angle came on as well and carried the fight to uh, to the opposition in the final third. So, uh, yeah, some good intro introductions and uh, yeah, on, on another night we win that game quite comfortably. Maybe it's something about this place, it doesn't uh, uh, give us much much joy at the moment so uh, thankfully we don't have to see this for, for a long for a long time but uh, um, yeah we're disappointed that's the top and bomb of it we uh, didn't deserve to lose uh, we're the better team um, but sometimes you don't get your rewards final word on those supporters out behind you over oh, 450 brilliant. of them nine hour round trip on a Tuesday night yeah brilliant I thought uh, they were excellent um, I think they were very vocal in the in their version of uh, events in terms of the referee and what, what his impact on the game had been. So uh, um, fans don't react unless uh, they see things that aren't quite right. So uh, uh, I think uh, our fans and, and if the fans, Colchester fans were honest, I think they, they probably feel that re the referee got a few things wrong tonight.